it is time for the Audi to get a water pump and cam belt change and I'm going to attempt to do it myself. Now when I say myself, I mean me and a couple of friends. We're going to attempt to do this. Now you may be wondering, what even is a cam belt? Where is the cam belt? How do you change a cam belt? Hiding underneath this cover is the engine. All of the previous modifications we have done before had to remove this video from the channel because of people threatening me. The cam belt is here. You take these off, you take this cover off and you can see the cam belt. However, as you can see, there's not a lot of room to work. We gotta be going down here, we gotta take this belt off, we gotta take tensioners off, we gotta be undoing stuff. So we're gonna need the room to do that. We're gonna be taking the whole front end off, first of all. We're gonna be taking the bumper off, crash bar off, taking the radiator off, disconnecting all the relevant hoses and lines that we need to, and then we're gonna take the front end off and we're gonna rest it up against something. I don't know what, actually that's a lie, I do know what, because I'm from one week in the future, so I've already done all this. But just, just to make the video a bit more aesthetically pleasing to watch. I'm going to be explaining it all to you as if I haven't done it. That's the first job, to get the front end off so we can actually see what we're doing. If you are thinking of doing your cam belt yourself on one of these cars, on the 2 litre TDI, I've got the BRD engine. You need to know if you're at the right skill set, if you've got the right tools. I could do most of it myself, but I needed a little bit of help later on to get the timings because that's the most crucial part. Most of it is just putting bolts in, taking bolts out. You do one thing and then the other. But with the timing, that's that's the bit that's going to keep your engine going and you don't want that to be wrong, otherwise you're screwed. So all that we used was the Halfords Advanced 150 piece or whatever it was. A couple extra sockets for the awkward spline ones. I mean, if you can take a bumper off and you know briefly what a tensioner is and just don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. I'm going to show you everything that happened, everything that went down probably just pop in every now and again because I do a lot, of, a lot of doing and not a lot of talking for once in this video so I'm going to need to chime in to show you where we're at and what what is going on because I was just in work mode I was just did get this done as quick as possible even though it took a whole day essentially have fun watching see you at the end come back speak of the devil here he is I'm not one of those, you know, those people that come back on TV shows in a long time. <laughs> yeah, you get a loud Hello, show. everyone, Yay. it's me. Hello, mate. How are you doing? You should say hello while I'm doing this. Have a little catch up. Have a little catch up. Yeah. Hello, everyone. How many years has it been? Two years. And I am now Big Chungus. I'm a lorry driver. I've got a kid literally coming in a week, but as usual, we are working on the car. It wouldn't be BWTV without it. Bradley likes to take off a head gasket or fucking time and chain or whatever it is, bump, bumper. Do you remember Declan? He's coming. I'm gonna get the old mallet out on the brakes. <laughs> Bash! Duff. Duff. I can see you through there. Hello, girl. Yeah. Hello. Hello. This cat was a person yeah. in her past life. How you doing? I'm a bit dirty. Dirty. Yes. <laughs> Give me a fucking sniff. How you doing, Duff? Here you go. Hold that. <laughs> now you're the best cat in the world. Yeah. <laughs> right, is this done now? Are you taking the bumper off? Yeah, this should be it. Right, come on then. I made trestle. Oh, that's going to be seats. Bumper delete. Ugh. That's not serious. Yeah, it's six cylinder. Five years. Is that how long it's been? No, it's not. I had the Clio. It's not been five years. Yeah. All right. How you doing, mate? You're not right. bad. How you doing? Four or five years. Been a long time. Bro, it's creaking. That's how old it is. Hello, <laughs> mate. Proper granddad car over there. A semi-granddad car here, and like 
Jimmy, Jimmy Savile. This is yeah. this is Jake. Got a little meat going on, come on. Yeah. Right, so time is 12 or seven. Yeah. One headlight has been removed. The other headlight headlight is being removed. This man. I wanna go on. I've no. not even done anything. It's just raining. Progress. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Whee. Right, job's done. Let's go on. Ten feet two. I'll Lunch. Do you remember, we went to fucking, we went to that, um, the wine yard, Brad. Yeah. We did. <laughs> we went for a walk. Was that the story? It's a good story. We went to the wine yard. Yeah, and I was in the front seat and I went, look at my fucking podge and I've doubled in size. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Glad to film it Oh, I got I would literally just say, just get all this off. <laughs> Mate, I was going to say, it was on green screen. We're going to do car stuff. We're going to take some bolts out and the whole thing's going to come forward. And? And that's it. Five lift the plug man. Pause me. Put me. I got spares. Starting on 30. Just open the box, the mystery box. <laughs> Bodge of all bodge, you got an umbrella stand, <laughs> engine, <laughs> fucking chair stand for radiator. Right, so first bit you want to do is detension this belt. Before that, talking about. before that, take the picture of it so you know the routing of it. Before so that. when you undo that, we'll turn it whatever way it goes, that will detension it, you can take the belt off. We need to time it first. Time it first? Yeah. What do you mean lock it first? Time it, lock it, whatever. So keep everything locked in place? Yeah. Cool, let me go grab No lunch yet, boys. I think this was an Amazon special. And we've got a new belt. We've got water pump in there. Idler bolt something. Idler pulley. The tensioner. And then, yeah, water pump. Water pump in there. Yeah. Sick. We're thinking get on with it or lunch first? Or should we, should we get, make some progress? Put it, in, put it in time first. Yeah. Lock it. Yeah. And then. We can have a break, at least we know it's time. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Right now, you tell me what's done it. Okay, you wait just 15 more minutes, then you'll be satisfied. Well, I take it this, this is the auxiliary belt, isn't it? Huh? Is that the, is that the aux belt? You just that's the drive belt, yeah, that just runs all the ancillaries. That's, that's the aux belt. And th this is the cam belt. What is I've uh, removed this, and they've got all kind of uh, crazy uh, hand marks here. Have you got the 16 for that? 16, yeah. Oh, yeah. spline thingy. Spline. All right, now this is where it gets technical and I'm gonna jump in. So you can see the two white marks from the previous time this timing belt has been changed. That shows that the top two cams are in line, but that doesn't specifically mean that the crank cam at the bottom is in line too. So you gotta line it all up so it's all good. Put in the tools that we got in the bottom, lock the bottom in place, and then lock the top two cams in place. Where we're at right now, a big fucking mess. No, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. So everything's <clears throat> top dead center. We're now trying to get this off. Crack them, yeah. Ooh, did that round? No. What, oh, I felt like the ground. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There she is. Wow, so what is this? This is a pulley. Crank pulley. Crank pulley. Crank pulley delete. So yeah, we'll take this off as well. Is it a cover? Just... Eh. Can you shut that video up? Bloke's talking to us like... Daddy's telling us what to do. <laughs> That's me, I'm not telling you what to do. It's not daddy. I think we've... Not uh, yet. Cam belt assembly. Let's point out a couple of the other uh, cams. That's going to be to see the yes, bloody we know. And also, cams, so they're going to go. take both of these over. Don't make the mistake that we made. We thought that this £10 kit from Amazon was no good. So we are on the way to Eurocar Parts. Is that, yeah, Is that literally Mackie's right there? Is that PWTV? Where? I don't know where it is. Here we go. Once again, Max. 
at least feel a bit sturdier, feel like more proper. <laughs> Nice. We were all being a bit silly and I realised, well I made a post in the Facebook chat and this slides in all the way from the front so we were trying to get at it like this wondering why is it not going in but you just go like right to the front and slide it in. Lally jally. That locked in, we got this locked in. This one for some reason isn't going in. But are you okay? <laughs> This one isn't going in, but it's in enough that this ain't going to turn and we've got a lot of reference points. Next up is to get the tensioner off, so I'm going to have to watch this video because Declan's gone home. Half day, everything's in. This is the tensioner, we're going to get the belt off. So we've got to undo this, but don't take the bolt off all the way. That's what the guys told me. So we're going to loosen that. And then... Enough. This is the belt, this is the cam belt is about to come on. <laughs> yeah, mate. Does it loosen anymore? Or is that it? I think that's it. Now this is the mistake that will later come back to bite me. So if you can see the top two cam shafts, there's three 13mm bolts on them. I should have undone these, should have loosened these so that the cogs are free to turn that helps with getting the belt off and it's very important with getting the tension back when the new belt is on. We've got the belt off and the tensioner is also off. Had to kind of loosen this all the way, pull this and wiggle the belt from all angles and then take off with this. So now we've got to get the water pump out. By the looks of it is three bolts. We got a new one of these as well. What's that? I think it's a pulley. It's a pulley for what? For the belt. I think the pulley has a job. It's not just a pulley. To make it pull. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is going to create a mess. This is the water pump we're about to take out. I'll top and throw it after this. No, not the nipple. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> likes to touch me up on my nipples. Actually, two people. On the camera. For fuck's sake, this is never gonna get done. <laughs> Trips and falls into the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it drove to me, big time. <laughs> this is done. See that water pump? Yeah, see that water pump? Ugh, can't get it out. Straight over the battery. I guess you don't want that. Water pump out. I'm gonna get the new one in, put everything back together. What's the time? Six o'clock, innit? Yeah. So I'll see what the time is when the belt's back on and everything's timed up. Uh. Yeah, time up to okay. so you can just fucking get on with it. Morning ladies and gents, it's the next day. Yesterday didn't go completely to plan. As usual, shouldn't be surprised, but I'm a little bit gutted that I, I'm not gonna be able to finish this myself. We got to the point where we put everything back on. The belt was on, everything was talked up. Essentially what ended up happening is I put the belt on, once I put the tensioner on, it looked fine. Done these bolts back up because we ended up having to loosen these, slacken these off push them out. This is when all the timing bits were still in. Slacking them off, put the belt on, tighten everything back up, tighten the tensioner up, and we gave it two revolutions by hand. Look back up here. That one was aligned. This one was off by a tooth. And at that point, it was, I think it was about half eight. 
nine o'clock and I know I wasn't thinking straight. So decided to just call it a day, get an expert down this morning, finish it off hopefully, and let me know where I went wrong. So the man Tyler came down to save the day. He ended up taking the belt back off, timing everything back up, making sure everything was aligned by loosening them three bolts again, uh, just kind of making sure everything was yeah timed back up, put the tensioner back, tightened it back up, then tightened up the three bolts. So essentially there was tension on one side of the belt, but slacking on the other side. So you got to do the tensioner up to get that side of it. And then you do the three bolts to get the tension from the other side. If that kind of makes sense, I believe that's what happened. And I think that's, how he fixed it. So if you tighten these up before the tensioner, yeah, and then you do the tensioner, it actually pulls the cams back. So what these do is it allows you to tension the belt and then it takes the slack up from all the way around the belt. Tyler just came in and saved the day for me. Absolute legend. Knew exactly what he was doing. I, I gave him the rundown, what I did, what happened, and it's all back together. You sort it start up just to make sure it's all actually running and it sounds sounded perfect. Um, so now belts are on. So now I've just got to get it all back together. Got most of the front end back on. Everything's bolted up. Haven't put any of the bumper or lights in and keep topping up the coolant. See if there's any leaks. I want to make sure there's no leaks before I continue with the rest of it. Let's just give all the pipes a squeeze to help the coolant go down. All right, just start it up. See what happens. See if we've got any coolant leaks. Nothing going on at the moment. It's looking good, but could all change when we start it. It runs. No fucking leaks. Yet. And we are done. It's all back together, front and back on. Had it running for about 15, 20 minutes. No leaks. No overheating, no weird weirdness. It's all actually gone pretty good. So there you have it, driveway cam belt change. Not really sure if I can say that I completed it because I had to get help in the end. But I don't even know if I saved money because I had to buy two timing kits. One of them was pointless, I had to pay someone else to come. Plus I gave Declan a little bit of money. But at least I made content out of it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed. I have no idea what the video is gonna be like because I've got no idea what Nathan was filming. Now see on this one we've got the arrow. <laughs> She's like a whiny little toddler. This video is already 90% duff and 10% <laughs> Brad's car. I'm gonna be a bad bitch. Can Brad ex just, can you feel like an explosion? That one I'm like. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think, I don't know why it's been two years. I think it's quite a lot of the, it's, it's adult life a lot of the time. I feel like in the last two years, a lot of the time, um, well, a lot of the time there is no time which is the sad thing, you know. But yeah, while we're at the end of it, just want to say thank you to your boys who helped me out, even just to stay for mental support. Go for a very, very quick spin. See how it goes. I mean, it feels fine. It feels amazing. Uh, do that? I'll just do that for a second. Get out of here. From what I can tell, Smooth, very, very smooth. I think we might, I know we have done it. It's driving very nicely, very smoothly. Cam belt, change on a driveway. Done it. 121,070 miles. Just telling myself that really so I can make a note of it. Cam belt change at 121,000 miles.
Just give it a first pull, see what happens. Nothing's gonna happen, I don't know what I'm saying now, but yeah. It feels exactly the same. That is a good thing, I think. Made it, dropping Nathan's jack stands back. See what these levels are at. Needs a tiny, tiny top up. Apart from that, all good. It made it here. It survived. Yeah. Thanks, muscles. Well, thanks for joining me back at the end. You probably noticed that this has been sitting there the whole time during the whole video. Let's go in here. The reason this is up here is because I originally just put it on axle stands just to check out the rust underneath because the seals need a bit of repairing. Got it up. Then I was like, oh, I might as well take the bumper off because I remember I scratched the bumper. Might as well take the bumper off, take the wing off because that was a bit of shit and just get it painted, go to work, paint it myself. And, um, it's just sat there. It's just been sitting for like a month now. <laughs> only, only jacked it up to check the zeals. It's been a trickle charge because it was dead. So we're just going to start it up. It started. <laughs> Shot into life. Just gotta see if there's any leaks because every now and then I keep having to top up the oil. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna be changing the wheel bearings, so that's gonna be the next video coming out. Again, I've already done it, but um, yeah, that's gonna be the next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you for the next one.